everyone, welcome back to online NPTEL course on structure, form and architecture, the synergy. Uh, today we are at lecture number 29 and we will be talking on membrane structure. So, before that uh, in last two lectures we have discussed on the straws, uh, space frame and the folded plate structure and today we are discussing like we are going to discuss about the membrane structure which is also alternatively known as fabric tensile structure. Uh, I have touched upon few uh, things uh, when we discussed about the tensile structure, but in this lecture we will focus on different application of that, different form that we use for this membrane structure and the application. So, uh, without uh, wasting more time, uh, let us get started. At the introduction, what exactly the membrane structure? So, it is a special structure and which is made out of tensioned members. So, uh, membrane structure or fabric structure is one kind of uh, tensile structure. So, the component that we have in this is membrane or fabric in one and the other is the structural support. That may be a mass, that may be a cable, that may be a rope. So, we will see the different kind of support system as well. Now, at the same time alternatively like there is another uh, way of defining it a structure that is characterized, uh, characterized by a tensioning uh, the membrane system typically with as I mentioned the wear or cable to provide the critical shape or structural support to the structure. So, in this image uh, if you see the slide, so I have given you two options uh, one uh, first start with this particular picture, here you can see that how the curve being generated and a thin membrane which may be of a cloth like material, we will discuss on that as well like different kind of materials that being used to uh, make the fabric for the tensile structure and how beautifully this being created. So, here again uh, you can get the curvature in opposite direction and if you recall uh, our earlier discussion that on the anticlastic and synclastic curvature. So, I am sure that you all can understand that this is the curve in opposite direction. So, it should be your anticlastic uh, curvature um, kind of form and uh, it is making a hyperbolic shape and this structure is very light in weight and being supported. So, this particular uh, roadway being uh, you know very beautifully covered without intermediate support. So, that is the beauty of this kind of special structure. We discussed about the dome, we discussed about the space frame and folded plate where this kind of you know space creation is possible without much vertical support in between. So, depending on the fold uh, that we have seen that how we can make uh, those structures steep enough to resist uh, against the applied load and here it is basically very light structure and only it is being stable with proper tension with the you know tensile members or the cables. Here this is another one where you can see that uh, there are you know columns which basically making a framework and everything is being covered with a fabric. So, this is another example. And I am sure that all of you must have seen in, in some uh, videos or maybe in real life this kind of structure. It may be applied uh, for a small uh, sit, out, sit, sit out area or maybe near restaurant or maybe in some of the you know uh, temporary construction that uh, to be uh, you know made with this membrane and structural uh, support which create the proper tension to hold it, to hold the shape and it is very useful. Now, to make it more simple, this is I think all of us have some experience of you know watching circus and all and we know the taint. So, how it is being formulated if I want to make a cross section of that. So, there must be a single uh, compressive mast that when we discussed about the tensile structure that uh, there will be some mast which is basically your uh, compressive mast which is anchored okay, to the ground and then from there different cables are being placed and this particular cloth here the cloth is referred as the membrane or fabric 
that being given the tension and the form being created. So, you do not require any other vertical support here. So, this tent like structure is a tensile structure and the membrane we use we can create the form. So, this is a very good example uh, the way I thought and I should uh, show it to you so that you can easily correlate uh, with this example and the concept of fabric structure. Now, coming to the component as I already mentioned the overall fabric structure or membrane structure is the uh, one and one of the component is your membrane very thin like material and which the membrane normally being used in the biology where the tissue and cells being discussed. So, like that here also it is very thin cloth like material and then the other component is your support system. Now, in the support system it may be of a single mast, it may be just the tension cable like uh, we have uh, seen uh, the earlier example like here along with the mast here we have the four mast uh, if you just can see through. Uh, so, we have this post and we also have a central post and then this is giving tension to the all cable. So, this particular um, uh, formation this kind of uh, internal volume form being created so that it can help us uh, for solving the purpose of creating uh, this circus tent and all. Now, coming to the support system uh, there are different kind of support system it may be just uh, you know uh, with a mast support only a, with a single uh, mast we just uh, anchor this particular membrane to the ground this can be one option it may be not uh, a single mast it may be uh, with a particular arch form. So, we create multiple arch to um, create a tunnel and then we just cover with the membrane. So, this is one kind of uh, form where we can use the arch or sometimes instead of a single arch we can also go for the space frame. So, uh, um, the last uh, discussion in the previous lecture when we discussed about the space frame. So, special space frame where we have seen some kind of curvature like this where you know different members they create the space frame and not in a particular shape, but with a dynamic shape and then we can cover it uh, with the thin membrane. So, then it will become a membrane structure as well as the space frame structure and the uh, space frame will act as a supporting system to that. So, we will have uh, uh, some more slides on this we will I will come to that. Now, coming to the membrane. So, broadly we can if we can classify them. So, it has two category category number one is your structural coated fabric and the other one is your mesh cloth. So, what exactly they are? So, structural coated fabric is again it is having the mesh if you see uh, this is a typical cross section of uh, that particular image where um, you know uh, this is basically uh, the vertical and horizontal like your two way x and y direction uh, the fabric are they are uh, actually uh, like uh, make this arrangement and this oven form is then protected with a structural coat. So, in this case the base cloth is similar, but in order to uh, increase the strength of that the coating being provided. So, different layer of coating may be provided to have better insulation to have better um, thermal resistance because as we use this as a as for the exterior. So, it will get exposed to the rain it will expose to the snow in uh, the context where like snowfall is there and also with the extreme heat. So, rainfall uh, then the you know heat from the sun and as well as the wind and other things. So, your structure your membrane should uh, get a protection and for this this will get some help from this different level of coating. So, the top layer is the surface treatment which will help to uh, make this intact. Compared to that the mesh cloth is just uh, this uh, inter part. So, they are interlink. So, interlacing uh, they are like um, forming uh, this interlacing form. So, they just tangle with each other and that will give some kind of 
uh, steepness to the membrane. Moving forward the uh, available materials in the market. So, we have polyester, we have vinyl coated uh, polyester which uh, is uh, better uh, than the uh, normal one, then vinyl laminated polyester, PVC fiberglass that can also uh, get a bent and it is useful. Now, these are the materials the woven uh, PTFE or ETFE they are really being uh, helpful. Now, what exactly the uh, PTFE that is your uh, poly tetra fluoroethylene. So, this is the full name of that. So, these are having better uh, response towards uh, like extreme uh, variation of the weather and also these are very useful material having better resistance against the heat and cold uh, breaking and all. So, looking at uh, uh, the material, so normally we should focus on certain criteria to select a material for fabric tensile structure or membrane tensile structure. So, what are those points? These are listed here. So, we will first see that the tensile strength which is the base or the backbone of this kind of structure. As I mentioned that this is uh, stable, uh, they get, get stability uh, due to proper tensioning. So, the tensile strength to be measured then the tear strength is also important because when you put the tension and all, uh, there will be lateral movement, there will be some you know uh, force acting from the top. So, due to that uh, uh, what will be the strain that uh, that will tear the membrane. So, we have to check that threshold uh, whether it is with the permissible limit or not. Then also the addition strength to be measured the flame resistance is one of the important criteria as because these are normally being used in public gathering to make a convention hall maybe a uh, you know circus tent and all. So, uh, for extreme heat or due to some you know fire case how this will help uh, or how it will resist against those odds uh, that should you know taken into consideration should be taken into consideration. Now, the weight this is very important like if you use only the mesh cloth or you use mesh cloth and then the structural coating. So, finish weight that is the like your self weight of the membrane that also need to be considered as because we are not giving much support. So, it should not be too heavy so that uh, it will sag or not giving the satisfactory result. Then the base fabric weight is uh, uh, exactly like where you do not add any coat then what is uh, uh, the weight of that you know per square feet or something like that in the unit. Then available top coating whether the fabric that you select uh, can be coated with something or no it is not compatible with any coating. So, you should just use it uh, for the purpose. So, that flexibility you have to check that resistance to the cold and heat cracking is another important parameter. So, cold is for the cold region and heat. So, expansion and contraction. So, this to be taken care of while selecting a material for the membrane. Then translucence is another parameter because most of the cases we use it uh, to welcome uh, the diffuse light like you will not get the radiation. but Definitely with the translucency you can maximize the daylight use uh, to the interior space. So, uh, we should also look uh, for such kind material uh, like where this translucency is available. Then the date load definitely this is overall the load that being imposed the self weight. So, that should be minimum uh, but without compromising the resistance or stability. Now, the other structural property like how it will expand due when we apply the tension the elasticity of uh, that material is another important uh, component to that. Now, the life expectancy is uh, also you need to consider because when you invest though the these are the fabrics or maybe the cost cost of construction is comparatively cheaper than the wall construction on the roof construction. But then also it will not sustain for a longer duration unless otherwise it is maintained periodically or maybe it is very well coated with some structural uh, fabric or something then it will extend the lifespan of this and the cost. 
uh, any implication, anything you go and purchase from the market, cost definitely will play a crucial role that whatever the available options to you, which one will be cheaper and also satisfying most of the criteria probably will go for that kind of material. So, uh, in uh, your uh, in my left hand side uh, towards like uh, this uh, what we have the right hand side of your uh, slide you have all these available materials and the left hand side of the uh, slide you have all the criteria which you should look for uh, selecting a membrane materials for the structure. Now, move ahead. Uh, as we discussed the two components are very important for the membrane structure. So, one uh, is your fabric that we discussed the type of materials, the coated uh, structurally coated materials or the mesh cloth and then we discussed about the available materials, then they are deciding uh, decision criteria and other thing how to select them. Now, move on to the second part that is the support. Uh, depending on the support, we can uh, categorize this fabric tensile structure or the membrane structure into five categories. So, one is your uh, mast supported, uh, I just have tried to draw something to explain you like with the circus uh, tent. The second one is the point supported uh, structure, where there is not a single mast, but uh, with the tension cable. So, we can create different point and we support the structure not with the mast. Then the arch support is instead of a mast we provide uh, different arches made of say um, some wood or maybe in any material we form the arch and then we cover up with the membrane that is possible. So, that is into the category of the arch supported. Frame supported is basically referred to the any frame we can make the rectangular frame or something or space frame and then we uh, use the membrane so that it will be in this category. And then other uh, point is the simple saddle where multiple points are required to give the stability. So, uh, to understand it better, let us go through the examples. Coming to the first point uh, that this uh, example is very common and I think now uh, you are familiar with this image that is something from the Arizona State University and um, campus. So, there you can see the membrane and the mast. Okay? So, this compressive mast being placed and this is actually grounded uh, well and then uh, remaining part is basically the cable. In this image if you see carefully, so very, very you know uh, thin cable. Uh, they are actually making those membrane stable with a minimal mast and all. So, this is mast supported. Now, coming to the point supported here, you cannot see at the middle there is any uh, you know mast uh, in the middle like this. So, you have the support at the, uh, at the end and then from there the different cables they are creating the point. So, uh, due to that uh, due to that combination you can get different points and that is giving a form of a dome or whatever the desired shape that we are looking for uh, membrane structure. So, this is again some different arrangement this is point supported and the main difference uh, here that if you see that the mast is uh, placed at the center we are getting this conical shape and we can also say that this being similar to the circus tent that I have uh, shown you and here there is no such mast. So, we have the support at the end which is not a part of this uh, you know the volume and then from there through cable we are creating some tension points and we just hold the structure, we give the shape of the fabric structure. So, this is the second category move with that. This is very clear that here you can identify that different arches being placed and then we just use the membrane to cover it up. And here you can see that uh, to create the opening uh, lateral opening. So, uh, the membrane is cut in such a manner. So, it is creating a vault barrel vault kind of form in this. So, this is arch supported. Now, coming to the frame supported. 
uh, it is again uh, arch form, but here you can see that uh, they are creating different you know uh, structural grid in this and here also you can uh, if you zoom it out if you see that it is not a single arch form. So, here uh, uh, frame being used to create the overall volume and this cloth or membrane is being uh, you know attached for creating the overall fabric structure. So, this is frame supported uh, membrane structure. Coming to the simple saddle here you can see that we have the mast, we have other support and in order to uh, make the continuity between two curves and all. So, there are some angular support as well. So, this is the category of simple saddle. Uh, now, in this case uh, uh, if we see by the form like how we can uh, make some classification of the uh, membrane structure in terms of form. So, we have four defined category. Uh, so, out of that like uh, first one is your hyper, then the conic, barrel vault and inflatable. So, before we discuss in detail each of them, this is something like uh, summary of all this uh, type. So, first with the hyper, hyper is basically we can say that when uh, like the support are being placed in different height and then we give different tension to the different you know portion of the cloth or the membrane or the fabric and we create a form of say hyperbola or hyperbolic paraboloid something like that. So, that is uh, basically leading towards some anticlastic formation. So, what exactly? So, here the example if you see that this is a piece of membrane this white color being supported with four different support, but they are first of all inclined and second they are having different height. So, here you can get this length, here you can get this length. So, these are not uniform, if they are uniform, so that means they are basically creating this kind of structure. So, all heights of the uh, heights of the supports are at the same level. So, we get a very simple uh, form where it is very flat, but at the same time the moment I reduce it. So, it will try to bend here the opposite side it will try to bend here, but at the same time this will try to hold it at the original position. So, that will create a curve and when you increase the height further. So, that will create a curvature in this direction and this will create the curvature in the opposite direction. So, here also if I want to draw, so one curvature is in this direction, the other is in the opposite direction. So, now I think you can uh, understand what kind of curvature it is, uh, can you guess? Yeah, uh, it is you are right that this is basically your anticlastic curvature, which we have discussed uh, during um, you know uh, our earlier discussion where you know, we discussed about you know uh, the form the shell structure. Now, coming to the conic, so conic uh, you just try to recall it uh, by the example of cone. So, cone uh, is some form like this and then you just cut a portion of that that will be the conical and in this case this is the example now you see that the curvature is in the similar direction. So, here it will be your synclastic. Right. Barrel vault is basically the barrel form of that when uh, you can see that multiple such uh, arrangement together is creating a vault kind of form then we refer it the vault uh, you know uh, barrel vault membrane structure. The last but not the least the inflatable one where again it is uh, having the similar curvature all the all through. So, this is again this is example of your synclastic curvature and mostly it is inflatable in terms because this is full of air. So, this form being created uh, through pressure difference. So, we add something like uh, if you blow a balloon then it will give a form and that will balance the uh, you know exterior uh, pressure and the interior pressure and that will get some stability and we will have discussion in the next upcoming 
uh, lecture we will be discussing uh, thoroughly on the pneumatic structure where we will discuss this inflatable uh, option once again. So, uh, let us uh, just understand if you would go to example, I just want to clean uh, like give clarity to the definition of synclastic and anticlastic. Uh, so, uh, when you have two surfaces, okay, and you have a curvature in one direction, only one direction though we, this is intersection. So, this is basically the curvature, this is basically your monoclastic. Now, I draw it again. Now, you have a curvature for this surface as well as this surface. So, in both the cases if you see that the curvature is uh, in the similar direction and then if you just multiply the plane you just revolve this plane. So, what you will get you get a form of a dome right. You may not get a dome, but you can get something uh, of dome like. So, this is basically having the similar. So, this is your synclastic curvatures. So, same direction with two surfaces. Now, contradictory to that if I draw it again, so I have one curvature like this direction and the other curvature of this direction. So, they are conflicting each other. So, then it is basically opposite direction, it is called anti, anti means opposite, so anti clastic. So, we have to remember this term very carefully because this is being used in the cell structure, this is being used in other kind of formation where this curvature is concerned to give the form, uh, overall form of the structure. So, like this if we take a piece of cloth and we put some low end support and then we put some high end support here and we just try to pin up. So, basically that will give a shape and this will try to give a shape. So, we get a shape like this the way we have seen here we will get the shape of this hyper. Now, move uh, to the example of hyper, it is the same you can understand that why this curvature can be created. So, you get a clean curvature here and also get a curvature here, they are opposite direction because the height they are placed, their inclination, their height they are different, they are not same. If they are equal, so they will give a plane surface. So, this is the uh, criteria to create this shape. So, this look very pleasant, aesthetically pleasant, but along with that it will be very helpful to create the curvature. If it would be flat, then there will be formation like when there will be the heavy rainfall and all. So, there may be a little sag and then suppose many a times we have seen it like for a market or so that you just make it with a polythene okay, without any slope the both the height are same. So, uh, during rainfall and other thing. So, water is basically accumulated here and that sag. So, it is not really welcoming instead of that if you have a higher height and the lower height. So, you create the slope you can drain off and here the thing is you create the curvature both the directions. So, the load applied on this due to this snow and all that can be easily uh, distributed they can easily drain off and that can be easily distributed. So, this is very uh, um, you know good application of the tensile. Uh, structure along with the membrane and uh, the structure is very simple like if you want to just make it for the installation you can simply use such kind of cloth which can be little expanded due to this tension and all and can get this kind of shade or samiana we can refer. Now, coming to the conic membrane structure uh, this is the similar like uh, a cone uh, maybe the truncated cone. So, this form being created 
and in order to put the tension, so we create uh, the support from the bottom and these are the post. So, this we create and uh, the central point definitely in order to give this shape you have a mast. So, mast support is uh, most of the examples that uh, we can get from the mast support fabric structure these are the conic. Coming to the barrel vault uh, I have shown there one example and here it is another. This is normally being used for a parking here it is in the case of the parking bay of uh, this you know the bus and all this is the waiting area. So, a regular formation of this arch which is very symmetrical they being repeated and uh, to provide the shade and all the uh, fabric being used. So, basically this is something like this that being created ok very uniformly and uh, these are the form. So, we can get any form of that we do not require mast to support it, we can uh, also sometimes have a centralized mast and then we can uh, support it with the tension cable. So, this is also possible. Coming to the last category the inflatable where the structure being made uh, with the help of air to give the form. So, initial form being made and then we inject air to maintain the shape. So, this is also uh, a very important structure to create the temporary and the main advantage of this kind of structure is the moment the purpose is solved. If you want to dismantle it is very easy you remove the air you can fold it it will can easily transport to the other place it is not very much permanent or heavy as because the light structure the only disadvantage that we may have uh, um, like due to heavy wind. So, this may differ uh, some of the uh, you know its initial form. So, the interior, interior fitting of the lighting and all that we need to take care of. So, coming to some examples uh, this is mostly being used for uh, the sports stadium or the roof of the post sports stadium. So, here the stars being used and the membrane is being used to cover it up. This is example from Germany. This again I am repeating this example in different context and here today it is just because to show you this use of uh, your membrane and the tension members to create this beautiful form and architecture. There it is again from the Arizona State University that I have depicted there. So, central mast and the support. Now, this is again a spores uh, center and here you can see that the conic form being created the overall dome being created and these are getting the supported. So, uh, you have a uh, like surface and you just spoke somewhere. Uh, sometimes you may use it to get some puncture uh, like to give some area to welcome the light inside. So, this is another example. This is the million dome you can see that how beautiful it is the huge dome being created and uh, strategically by calculation definitely uh, this mast are provided and the whole surface is being supported with some tension. So, this is holding the overall form so that you can minimize the number of uh, support inside and we can have the columnless space. This is another example of a port where it is being created and you uh, the use of the fabric is also shown here. So, coming to the advantages it has advantages uh, considering the longer life cycle because like you can uh, you know uh, just dismantle it quickly and you can transport it less construction debris is because it is nothing to like break and so you can dismantle uh, easy, easily and whenever you require you just go and you know uh, plug and play kind of concept. Design customization is also there you can design about different you know angle different uh, direction different uh, curvature and that is uh, possible with this lightweight and very flexible to use that I already mentioned high strength to weight ratio comparing the weight of the membrane which is very less, but that can also cater good uh, you know strength. And when you use the membrane uh, which is structurally coated this will again be higher than the normal one. Now, along with these advantages there are few disadvantages that I mentioned that the poor rigidity when there is a high wind blow or something. So, it, it cannot perform well 
uh, then any loss of tension as because the tension uh, is the main fundamental to give the shape. So, it, if there is any damage to any part of that, so the whole structure will collapse uh, within a with few seconds or something. So, this is uh, one of the criteria which uh, we need to take care of. This is not exactly the disadvantage, but yes, we have to take proper care of that when we execute it. Thermal resistance is poor as because of the thin member, so there is problem, so proper uh, HVAC system to be uh, adopted uh, for better result. Now, poor insulation again due to the thin one, so but uh, now for the coating and other thing uh, in recent time, if you use this uh, your uh, you know poly uh, tetrafluoroethylene kind of material or some coated material, so this insulation can be improved. So, with this uh, like we complete this uh, section. So, here basically if you summarize quickly, so two members one is your fabric and then we have support right. In fabric we have discussed that uh, you know structurally coated and then you have your mesh cloth and there are different list of a figure and how like we decide those different criteria to select it. In the support it may be of mast supported, it may be of arch supported, it may be of point supported, it may be of your frame supported or maybe it is saddle. Okay. And regarding the form of that what we discussed one is your hyper, second we uh, discussed about the conic, third one that we discussed about the barrel vault and last but not the least is your inflatable uh, structure. So, where inflatable is basically your synclastic curvature and hyper is basically where you have this kind of uh, member. So, you get the anticlastic curvature. So, the advantage is definitely it can cover the last span with the minimum weight, minimum investment, but there are problems with like uh, having poor resistance to the heavy wind and other thing that we need to take care of that. With that I uh, conclude here, these are the some uh, reference like you can go through and you can get some insight to this topic and also you can go through the link I have provided with that uh, this lecture ends here. So, upcoming lecture will be discussing on the pneumatic structure that is something we discuss the inflatable structure. So, we will discuss more on that. Um, um, so, uh, this is end of this lecture, thank you so much for taking part into this course and we will meet uh, you soon, thank you.